Welcome to Strip Cover Lit. I'm Adrian Fortin. We are here for the fifth in what will be a seven part series as we travel through Chuck Palahniuk's Haunted. This is the installment which will be the rant on the novel uh, titled simply Taking Risks. Uh, and I gave this novel a lot of shit. I really did. But I tried to be fair and give proper credit where credit was due. There are a lot of things in this novel which were not easy to pull off. And uh, Sometimes they were not pulled off, but when they were done right, when they were done well, they were done extremely well. So this might sound hypocritical, but I'm praising Polinick for taking risks. This could not have been an easy novel to write, let alone to envision in the first place. Uh, so I, I think one thing you've got to, one thing you've got to admire is when a writer is willing to live a little, uh, to be a bit incorrigible. Uh, if you're not having fun with your art, neither will anyone else. And I think that's something that Polinick does understand, that Polinick does see, and uh, which Polinick does really try uh, to execute. And this really is, on a logistical sense, a swing for the fences. It is a mighty whack at things. And Sure, it's not a home run, but neither is it a strike. Uh, there is a nice crack of the bat, and the ball went hurtling into foul territory where it hit a fan square in the face and knocked him out. Uh, for further insight into that analogy, look into the lore surrounding the Guts short story that appears in this novel, which is, I believe, the first short story to appear in this novel. Um... I should have prepared for this better, but that's... Nope, it is not. Guinea pigs is. But it's very early in the novel, regardless. <clears throat> and if you don't believe me, and you don't believe the lore around it, you can always uh, you can always send a tweet to Dalton. And while I did like this novel much less the second time around, and much less than I remembered having liked it, I'm still glad that it exists, and I am extremely thankful for uh, the scaffolding that it provided for several projects of my own, which, as a writer, I can't say enough about. Uh, it is difficult to envision something wholly new. It is difficult to envision something that you have never seen before from time to time, and this was a massive leap on the uh, the format guideline, which made things that broke form a little easier for me to envision as a writer. Unfortunately, um, due to the extremely acute nature of success with a project as ambitious as this, most of the literary world is rather cookie cutter. Don't believe me? Then you can peruse the YA section at your local bookstore and just look at the covers. But Adrian, you can't judge a book by its cover. Sure you can. Uh, and you can also, for, for the most part you can. And you can also understand very, very in depth uh, the market environment in which these books exist as well as the likelihood of getting published in different, in different uh, markets. For example, in the YA market, if a bird, uh, a castle, or the word queen can appear on the cover of your book, uh, I guarantee you that your rates of getting published go up dramatically. Uh, so even the rebels of this day, the readers, uh, can expect novels, the pre novels, the thing which represent the premier uh, intellectual feat of our species, if you ask me. Uh, even novels come business casual and are willing to stand in line. And these are, of course, the novels that you are getting, that you are able to access. Uh, at your local bookstore, novels which are being mass produced, novels which people are able to go to the store and pick up, novels which then shape people's future readership. And um, things like this, f even for, for as, as, as many problems and as problematic as this book is, it does make you think. It does, it does crash your expectations. 
And without things willing to do that, able to do that, or that are going to do that, uh, something as dramatically profound as readership is being shaped into a lesser and lesser box in our society. So that's it for the rant on Haunted. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, hit like and subscribe, and I hope to see you back for five writing lessons from Haunted as well as the review of the novel.